part four. Part four, we made it, you guys. My first series, and I have had a blast. So if you're new here, welcome. And I am Martika with Martika J Makes. And we have been talking for about the past couple of weeks about matching style with patterns, you guys. I found my personal style as the things that I love, the things that I love to wear, the type of uh, clothing and patterns that draw me in is bohemian style. I've always loved like the loose fitting, the wide leg pants, the patterns, the neutral colors. I love it all, you guys. So that is what I have really adopted as my personal style. And let me tell you something. In doing this series, it also has helped me realize that I have a lot of patterns to purge, you know, from my collection because it's patterns looking at what I like to wear and looking at the pieces that I really enjoy in my closet. I'm never going to wear those things or I'm never even going to make them to wear them. So yeah, I'm just going to be going through and just really be having decided exactly how I'm going to uh, get rid of them. Uh, whether, yeah, I'm not even going to go there, but I, it has let me know <laughs> that I need to purge some things. So this is the last part of this series and I have... I won't tell, it's, it's, this is going to be a little shorter because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six patterns to show you, but it's going to be done a little differently and you'll see what I mean when I get started here. So go ahead, sit back, relax, grab you something to drink and let's go and enjoy this last part of the series. So. I kind of veered away from clothing with this next one. And um, I saw this as I was looking through some photos on Pinterest to add to my board. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I didn't even know where I would go with this series, but now I can step outside of the box just a touch and I'll get back in the box of clothing in a second. But you guys, when I saw this pattern, or should I say this bag right here, it reminded me of a pattern that I just recently picked up, you guys, and that pattern is McCall's 8271. This is one of the newer early spring patterns. You guys, bam! <laughs> How great of a match is that? Now, it may be a little different because you have your rope um, handle there, but you can make that however you want to. And then if you want to change that up a little bit, of course, you can, um, you know, add your pocket on the outside. But look at that. And then look at how you can go and grab the fabric that complements each other if you want to, or you can do all the same fabric like this one is here, you guys, and make your own bohemian style looking bag. Now, I will tell you the um, what the suggested fabrics, because a lot of these tote bags and things like that, some people wonder what are they made of. So the suggested fabrics for these bags is cotton or cotton blends. Um, also, if you wanted to do like this little handbag, you didn't notice it was a third bag, did you? And then you also have a light uh, a little crossbody there too. Well, actually that's a clutch. I thought it was a crossbody. That's a little, like a little clutch also, or a pouch, what they call it. Um, for those, you can do it in like chenille. But other than that, I'm gonna tell you the type of cotton that I would see myself doing this in, and that would be like a canvas cotton uh, type. You know, they have lots of different print in like the canvas cotton, but it it's a little sturdier than, you know, your regular cotton that, that you would go and get that's thin for like for clothing or something like that, or just crafts. But the canvas cotton would be amazing, you know, in these bags right here. So yeah, think about that. All right. So let's go back into the box of clothing. <laughs> so this next one is going to be a little different because you guys, I saw this set right here and I thought, now that is really cute. Now I don't, I have a pattern that actually has a set, you know, with like the culotte uh, pants um, and a top, but the top just wasn't working, you know, together to get this complete look. So I thought of two patterns that I have. 
The first one for the pants is an oldie but goodie. It is Simplicity 8389 and it's an easy to sew pattern. And it is this one right here. So if you've been around for a while, you either have this pattern or you have seen this pattern, okay? And view C or view B, view B will give you that style pants, you guys. As you can see, it has the pockets already. Just look at the waistline, look at everything about it. It's so similar, you guys. Fun, fun, fun. So that would be for the pants. Now, for the top, I couldn't find, I don't have anything that's like an exact match, but I did get pretty close with this and to where you can kind of get that look that's going on over here. And this is McCall's 8217. You guys, look at that top and then look at that one over there. First of all, you don't have the straps. Me personally, I need those straps, okay? And then the body part might be a little different, but you guys, as you can see, you can get about the same look. And if you want to go strapless, you can. Here's the look right there, you know? So if you do want that strapless look, you can do this look. And just think about this. If you wanted it to be almost an exact replica, you could do view A without, or do uh, view B without the straps. View B is basically has, you know, your waist, your elastic waist, you know, with the extended uh, in there. And then the top of it is pretty much view A. So just do view B without the straps if you want to. So it's, you can go any way you want to, but you can make your outfit out of these two patterns. Just an idea. All right, so the next one is this look, okay? And this look, I really um, enjoyed it. And this is actually the last one, but I have three different patterns to show you uh, the way that you can get a look such as this. So when you go into Pinterest or really Google or anywhere, you can get these layouts of clothing, like these wardrobe layouts where it can show you like the outfits you can put together that look good, that have like the shoes, the accessories, the sunglasses, the hats, all that kind of stuff. Well, when I saw this one right here, I immediately thought of a few patterns that I have that are so easy, you guys. You could literally sew this up in a day. Um, take this to travel in and to just to do whatever, just to have for everyday wear at the office or whatever. So for the dress, as you can see, easy, looks like a knit dress to me. There are a lot of like flowy knit dress patterns out there, but the one that I had that I thought was a great little replica of it is McCall 7122. And that is this dress right here. Now the sleeves, if you wanted to do the sleeves a little longer, you can. Um, but Basically, if you wanted to shorten it, you can just do view A, shorten, you know, with the sleeves for um, view B. This is view B right here. So you could do view A, but put view B sleeves on it. Or if you wanted it longer, you can do view C and put view, view B sleeves on that. So you can mix and match this pattern any way you want to, whatever you look. If it's colder outside, you wanted to do something like this um, with like a heavier knit or just with the knit that you're going to wear with the jacket, just do the long sleeves if you want to. So that is the dress out of this look. Now, I've showed you these two before, but I wanted to show you again because you can layer, you guys, you can layer kimonos, all right? We've been talking about that in every every part of this so far. So Simplicity 8172, right there. You can do any of those to layer on top of that dress. And get this, as you can see, the kimono in the photo looks like it's about the same length of the dress itself. You can lengthen this if you want to and make it the same length, you know, just measure out both pieces and be sure to make it the same length and you have the layered look you're looking for. The other kimono I wanted to show you, I've already showed you this, is a quick sew. Quick sew K4208, this one right here. 
So you have a couple of different uh, ones that you can do. I personally like that one for like layering because it has like that drapey look. So you can easily, you know, lengthen that just like I told you with the other ones, add the length to it and put it together with this. So that is a way that you can get some sets out of it. What if you did like a black knit dress or a white or a navy, you know, something with solid color and then made the kimonos in different prints. Now you'd working with several different sets that you can take to travel with you guys, make a couple of solid dresses, take you about three kimonos or whatever, you got several different outfits. So those are some easy things to do. That's kind of how you do your, like your little travel wardrobes and things like that. But I still, in these patterns, have the style that I like, which is along that bohemian style, relaxed fit style. And depending on the fabric I pick, I can look totally fabulous, you guys, and you can too. So yeah, that is the end. I told you that this last one would be a short one, and it is. I have enjoyed myself, and I know a lot of you have told me that you are really enjoying this series and has been, and I am so glad um, that you have been. I'm definitely going to be... Um, pulling and looking and pinning and doing some more of these uh to let me know if you want to see some more like i told you in part three let me know if you want to see some more down here in the comments um let me know if it has inspired you to do the same thing for yourself to pull your personal style um you may i know that in part two some of you were telling me i don't really know the name of my style i know what it is you guys let me tell y'all something Nowadays, people make up names for styles, okay? I mean, <laughs> it it is not so formal anymore in my uh, personal opinion. I mean, you can be country chic you know, <laughs> if you want to. You can be bohemian chic. You can be classy. You can be uh, classy casual, you know, if you want to. So just pull your style. If you have to name it, then so be it. Google, uh, look at the different styles and like the different... Um, online stores that you like and see what they're calling it. A lot of times, it uh, a lot of things, it may say like bohemian or um, it may say chic or something, you know, within the title of that piece itself. So you just might have a unique style just for you. Name it if you have to, it's yours. So I will be putting up some more of these in the near future. I do have a great, great segment coming up in April. Uh, looking through these, I will be sharing with you what I'm going to be sewing next out of all of these patterns I've showed you in all parts of these. I do actually need some pieces really bad. So I'm going to be pulling from these uh, pieces that I have been showing you and I'll share with you the fabric that I'm going to use to sew these pieces up with. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for your support. Give this video a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the button and definitely hit that notification button so you don't miss a thing. So I will see you guys in the next video video and you all have a wonderful one and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.